course. Well, Liana, well, I am... That's Nick's missus, is it? His girlfriend, yeah. Right. She's a registered tour for the police. Well, you know all the lingo, don't you? <laughs> she feeds information about crime to them. Wow. That's very... Well, good on her. <laughs> I hope she's helping nail those evil criminals, because there's a lot of it about. Her information helped the police arrest the criminal gang, but a member of the gang threatened her, and now they've all gone into hiding. I'm not supposed to tell anyone this. Yeah, I get that. No, no, I do, I get it. <laughs> See, I'm as straight as they come, Sam. I get a secret and I take it to the grave. Cut me and I bleed loyalty. Now, it's very brave of you to tell me that, love. And I really appreciate it, mate. Wow. I don't know how you do it. Do you what? Well, it must be really hard on you not being able to see your dad in person. It is, but what can I do? You can keep talking to me. See, a problem shared is a problem halved. Now, you're a bright lad, so you'll know that that's a cliché. But trust me, they're clichés because they're true. Our secret, yeah? Yeah. Good lad. <laughs> Are you too decent? I don't want to come in and see Flesh again. Yes, we're decent. Come in. Look at him. Don't you think you're milking this just a bit? Yeah, you'll be getting a job at the dairy soon. I could have been anyone. I could have been Amy. Well, you've got a pretty deep voice for Amy. Listen, mate, sorry, we, we're just a bit high on life at the moment, that's all. Well, as long as that's all you're high on. Oh, can't you remember it, Steve, when you and Tracy couldn't keep your hands off each other? Oh, oh I'm sorry, did I miss a meeting? Is this National Discuss Your Sex Life Day? Oh, now, come on. Now, don't you be such a stick in the mud. Don't you make me out to be old-fashioned. I'm as modern as the next man. And if I wanted to live in some kind of free love commune, I'd have shipped out to Ebden Bridge. <laughs> Thanks for logging into your account. Yeah, I saw it drop last night, so I know you like space travel. <laughs> you haven't seen it, have you? I'm familiar with the history of the space shuttle, but no, not seen this particular documentary before. Well, I hope your mum doesn't think it's too old for you. She won't. It's not exactly sex and violence, is it? So, uh, you get on with Liam then, or what? Yeah, I like her. Oh, good. Yeah, she sounds dead nice. Upstanding. <laughs> I wish I'd known Oliver. He was her little boy. He died. Really? God. She sounds like an actual saint. I've always wanted a little brother or sister, but I suppose it wasn't meant to be. You know, um, <clears throat> it might be a good idea that uh, I'm in on your secret because, well, I could help you find a way to meet up with your dad or find somewhere where you could hang out. <laughs> OK, OK, I can see you're angry, but if you just tell me what the problem is... Him? He's the problem right there in his size sevens. How small do you think I am? My dad was in earlier, and this coffin chaser made him part with the best part of 15 grand. 15 grand, it hasn't got. I mean, it's 14, 950. Yeah. This is in bits because my lovely mum's died, and this one here's taken advantage. I just showed him what was on offer. If he wanted something cheaper, he should have said. I will sort this. You have my word. Todd, go and wait in the back, please. I'll deal with you later. What? You heard. Now, let's look at getting this bill down considerably for your dad. Wow. 
Wow, you really are studying. Got you these. I'm just going to bung them in the fridge. And I found this reprobate by the doorstep. <laughs> Gooey! <laughs> I brought you this. Little housewarming. It's a draft excluder in the shape of a doggy woggy. Oh, thanks, Mary. Never trusted these new bills, draft wise. <laughs> you really do think of everything. Would you like a can of something fizzy and sugary, Mary? Oh, no, thank you. I've already had three coffees. Too much fluid and I over urinate. So. You're enjoying this cohabitating lark, eh, Asha? Yeah. yeah, it's great, isn't it? Best decision ever. Now, is anybody hungry? Uh, Dad brought round some snacks before, but they've gone past the sell-by date. I reckon they'll be all right, though. Oh, what's a bit of mould between friends? <laughs> Could phone up a takeaway. My treat. Speed dial's all right, innit? I'll, uh, I'll message Kelly, see if she's eating before she comes. Now, am I hungry? Yes, I think I am. So, please, may I have a trio of dips and chutneys, one paneer tikka masala, one mutton nihari, one bagari rice, one stuffed nam and one onion budget. And go on, <laughs> you twisted my arm. One almond coffee. <laughs> hey, what's up? I've got a client in 20, so... Is everything OK? Why do you want to see me? Something really weird's happened. What? I've had this text message from a random number saying that the Nick saying he wants to meet me. I didn't think any of that was safe. It's not safe. I know. And did you reply? What did it say? Show me. Look, I did more than reply. I went to meet him. <laughs> have you had a lobotomy? But he didn't turn up. I'm so worried. <sighs> you should have done that. That text could have been from anybody. Anyway, probably had second thoughts. He certainly shouldn't be texting anybody. I, I, I don't know what to think. Well, it could have been him. But Nick didn't turn up. It's okay. Butcher! Oh, hi. We've got a takeaway. Yes. Corrie decided to treat us working girls. Asha's been hard at it studying, and I'm sort of geeing her on from the sidelines like a mem in human form. Whoops. Listen, honey, I'll get you a load of food earlier. That is stuff not good enough for you. No, it's not that. Have you eaten it all? Talking about filling the tank. Say something, Dad. She's totally giving you shit. Right, calm down, Ardy. It's not that important. It's mostly for me, actually. Asher will probably just chew on the corner of a popper dom, and Kelly's coming over soon. Uh, it's so... gonna get cold. Let's go, yeah. Mary. Catch her. Why is Mary acting like she thinks Corey and Asher's a good thing? Because Mary's like me. She's playing a long game, so she wants to be close to mop up tears. Well, get your stopwatch ready. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> Are you not going to ask me what this is? Carla, what's that? Oh, well, thank you so kindly for asking Master Peter. This is new bed linen. It's a little bit Moroccan, a little bit peacocky. Sorry, you've, you've lost me. Aren't you going to ask me why we've got new bed linen? Carla, why have you got new bed linen? I am so glad you've asked that, Master Peter. Well, we've got new bed linen because we've got a new flat. No. Mm. Where? Above streetcars. You know, I just thought we, we, we'd rent it for now, and I, I, we should have done it ages ago, only. Well, what with everything going on and after Hebden Bridgegate. Wow. Well, you don't mess about, do you? Well, I thought you wouldn't want to go trekking around for a new flat. It's stressful, isn't it, moving? You are pleased, aren't you? Oh, over the moon, love. It's great. Ah, oh, good, eh? Hey, Sophie Ellis, Bex has got nothing on me. Who? <gasps> oh, happy birthday. We've been having a bit of a disco, let me turn it down. Oh, Sam, wait till you see what I've got you for your birthday. Thanks, Auntie Sarah. Oh, well, actually, it's from the whole family. And then uh, Adam and Harry are going to come round in a bit. Brilliant. So, uh, let me pour you a drink. Are you all right? You seem a bit... Oh, no, no, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Um, actually, though, Sam, I've got a bit of bad news. Your mum's stuck in London overnight. So it looks like you're going to have a sleep over here. <laughs> so, what have you guys been up to? Oh, uh, watching telly, musical bumps. Nothing major, eh, Sam, lad? No, nothing major. 
<laughs> Come on, then, Sarah. You know you want to. Right, yes, I will. Just one second. I just need to make a quick call. <laughs> Have to start again, won't we? Yeah. If there was a no nipple policy in this house, would you be sticking to it right now? No. <laughs> I don't know. Talk about kicking the backside out or something. Well, you never know you two. Well, listen to this. You won't have to witness any more sights for sore eyes anytime soon. Sight for sore eyes is supposed to be a good thing. <laughs> Go on, tell him, love. We are moving in together. Oh, why? Whereabouts? Your old flat streetcars. It'd be handy for a taxi, that. Huh, yeah. So when you go in. Uh, look at his face. Can't wait to see the back of us. Hello. Yes, speaking. Oh, OK, right, yeah. Uh, of course, yeah, I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thanks. Um, that was a transplant centre. They've got me a liver. Would you go on the space shuttle if you could, Sharon? Too right. <laughs> All that bobbing about in zero gravity is my kind of fun. I was watching this online study tutorial with Thingy, uh, Miss Davies, and she said that when you're done revising for the night, you should... Oh, what did she call it? Go out and get wrecked. Uh, set the table for breakfast. She's totally weird, Miss Davies. Did you see the state of her shoes the other day? It didn't match. Well, she reckons that if you lay everything out on the desk, and then when you come back to revising in the morning, you're all set to go. Wait, woo. That uh, Keisha Naylor reckons that she's totally dating Miss Novak. Oh, that's gross. Miss Novak's like 90. I know, yeah. Apparently she saw them in fresh goes together by an anti dandruff shampoo. <laughs> Don't even want to know what they were using before. Oh, good. So Ming and Mary finally left, did she? Don't call her that. What? <laughs> she's all right, Moose. Anyway, are you girls done for the night, then, or what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the shops to buy some anti dandruff shampoo. <laughs> See you later. See ya. So, good day, then. Yeah, really good. Thanks for the support. Oh, your happiness is my... thingy... Priority? Ah, oh, we're finishing each other's... Sentences. <laughs> Look, well, don't worry. I don't think I've ever been happier. Ask me why I'm giddy. I said. Why are you giddy? Final ever dress fitting done and dusted. And uh, relax. I ain't been poked and prodded unless it's by you. Well, of course, you handsome devil, you. That's gonna need valet in. Can't talk about energy zapper. Here's me all giddy because I've had my last ever dress fitting and you two look like you're having a bad night in the morgue. Well, it's hard to be civil to someone that doesn't get what you do for them. Little queeny thing. Ignore him. I thought weddings were supposed to bring people together. How's your frock? Well, never mind now. What's going on with time? Oh, clashes, stag do ideas between Tim and Ty. And Tim wins. Oh, sort it out, Kev. We've got work with a guy. Help him feel appreciated. Go on, go kiss and make up. And hey, no tongues. <sighs> Cheeky. <laughs> what? Look, mate, I don't want to fall out. I'm sorry about all this stag do stuff. It's just... I want a quiet one. Well, it doesn't get much quieter than a silent disco, Kev. Yes, I know, but... Play nice. Right, I'm sorry, too. I just got carried away, you know. I wanted it to be decent. You're a good mate, aren't you? Yeah, I am pretty special. No, you've you've been dead supportive with me and Fizz splitting up. Oh, stop it, mate. I don't get too big. <laughs> You know, maybe we can do some of your stuff after all. Yeah? Ah! Look at you. Lounging around like little old what's-his-face. Bye. 
Well, those skivvies do all the tidying. And it says birthday is allowed. Do you know, honestly, feel free to go. You don't have to hang about. Mm, I've got no else to do. You know what? I think your mum's got really lovely taste. Really? What? You know, well, I like that mirror in the bathroom. You know, in the shape of a shell. Very seasidey. Oh, and that candle. Nice touch. That mirror makes me want to throw up. <laughs> I think I know why she's hanging about. She's lonely. I was the same when I came back from Italy so I could see the signs. Uh, what was that, love? Oh, sorry, what? Something about Italy, was it? I love Italy, me. Well, I love Italian men, if I'm honest. Yeah, I used to um, live in Milan. I worked for my uncle's factory. Mm, pizza! Who doesn't love pizza? Yeah, calzone, that's my favourite. Yeah, that little fold-over one. Yeah, that one! <laughs> well, not so little, I suppose. Right, I'll stick the kettle on. Oh, go on! I've got a gob like a desert welly. All right, love. Just look me some stuff up. Did you text your dad? And? He won't come back. Says it's too dangerous. Right. Is the bloke gone? No. He still sat there in his invisibility cloak. You know full well he's gone. These walls are paper thin. I thought I was doing the right thing. I'm wondering if your mother did the right thing by actually giving birth. Harsh, but impressive. It's like something I'd say. Then I wholly retract it. By encouraging the old fella to give his dead missus a send-off to be proud of, I'd be quids in. Quids in? We have just lost a lorry load of money because of you. Because to stop him from going to the Gazette, I've had to agree to do the whole thing for free. How dare you laugh at me? I'm sorry, it's just the, like when you said we lost a lorry load, I, I thought you were going to say we lost a lorry load of money. Let, let's still apply. This is serious. I mean, to be honest, I think he spun this. I think he just wanted a freebie on long. I should have listened to me gut from day one. Why have you got trapped wind? Well, I'm listening to it now. Your wind? Should I get an air freshener? You're sacked. You are? Not so funny now, are you, Michael McIntyre? Are you serious? Just when I thought I could trust you, you're going to do this. But I, I was... no, I'm sorry, Todd. I need to do this for my mental health. You're doing my head in. Who was that you was just on the phone to? Finally, he asks. That was the ice bar. Just booked it. Look, I think you and Tim have both had wicked ideas about the stag do, so... I think we'll stay local in the evening and uh, we'll go to your ice bar later on. Well, I'm glad you saw sense, eventually. Right, I'm going to get going. Well, now you've got your own way. <laughs> Can't wait to let Timothy know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorted. Sort of. Thank God for that. Oh, Abby, can I ask a favour? Anything but sexual. <laughs> we think about inviting Alina on to Endo. I know, I know that's really cheeky, but I just wanted to feel welcomed by my mates. And then it makes it less awkward when she comes to the wedding. <laughs> I'll... I'll check numbers with Sally. You're a start. Good night. She's coming to the wedding? I had no idea. I'm fuming. I won't be the fittest bird on the wedding photos. Poor fist, though. Uh, no, Kev, the correct answer is yes, you will be. Yes, you will be. It's amazing. Well, yeah, you must be over the moon. Do we? You two talking about me behind me back. Always. And not always in a good way. What else do they say on the phone? Oh, nothing. Just the transplant centre saying they might have found me a good match, that's all. So... Why do I feel so scared? Because it's a really big deal. It's also pretty awesome. This could actually happen, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it could. So you need to get your backside down the centre. Now, actually, I'll give you a lift. Well, I suppose, first night in the flat, I may as well have a new liver. Oh, and uh, Carla's got this lovely new bed linen. I, I think Steve's probably more bothered about you being alive than our new bed linen. <laughs> Marginally. Marginally's pushing it. And uh, when I get back, we can christen it. <laughs> oh, come on, I need my ears bleaching. You two are obsessed. <laughs> Shut up, Grandad. Living with a heat seeking poodle. Hello. 
You better have some good news for me. This is taking far too long for my liking. Yeah, no, I'm sorry about that, but, um... <laughs> I found a way to contact Nick through his son. Well, that's it. I thought you'd have found a chart by now. <laughs> He's a really nice kid, actually. <laughs> His little sweetheart. I hope you're not going soft on me, you. Well, it's not me you need to worry about. It's her. Leanne will not back down without a fight. And From what I remember, she's dog rough. No, nah, well, canines can be silenced. If you've got out like that planned, you know, you can keep me out of it. I will not play ball, and then you'll never find her. <laughs> you're in way too deep, you. You do as you're told, and you get looked after. You know the rules. <sighs> Please, Harvey. Whatever you do, do not hurt Nick's lad. I mean, you're already inside. Is it worth putting a kid through all sorts of danger just to get your sentence reduced? Harvey? Harvey? Gripping new drama across five nights continues next on ITV as Martin delves into Carl Tuckman's past. After winning Old Clark stars in Viewpoint, next.